Hello, my name is Heinz Maui Perry, and uh, we're going to do an L16 tear down and put back together. I'm doing this for people who seem to screw up timing chains, and I'm going to do this as fast as I can, so uh, here we go. Got my theme music going. Every guy needs his theme music. Anyway, this motor went bad due to uh, water going into the oil pan, and it happened due to... Uh, front cover cavitation that was due to uh, not running enough, enough antifreeze. Show you what <clears throat> cavitation looks like. Hopefully you can uh, see that. See all the holes in there. This is only uh, 40,000 miles on this uh, GMB stamped pump. Should get the Atsugi brand with the curved impellers, the cast impellers, but uh, you can imagine what a 30 year old front cover looked like. I threw it away already. This one I stuck on here, I had Chromex by Performance Coatings in Auburn, Washington. It was about 50 bucks US. So, what we will do is uh, time this motor to uh, top dead center, compression stroke. So, what we do is uh, Turn it to take the valve cover off. Everything is based on looking at the front cam. The lobes will be, the intake will be in a 10, and the exhaust will be in a 2 o'clock position. So, what we do is get our crank sprocket, look at the second lobe here, and we'll turn it, turn it till it comes up on the mark. On L16, this, this is 20, 15, 10, 5, then we come up to 0. If you're coming up to a broke motor, this is one way to check it out, see if everything was lined up correctly. Distributor shaft and everything. I'll take a quick note here with the camera. This is a timed head and what we'll do is looking through here on we'll go down to the crank there's the pointer and there's my black mark which is pretty close to uh, top dead center we'll call that good another way to check if your cams lined up is to uh, see where that V notch is lined up with that dash on the plate. I will show you a, a better picture right here. I'll come around past my car. And this is what a good one looks like. Right there, you see that? The V notch lines up with the dash. That is a timed, that would be a timed motor if you came up to it. This one is retarded, probably off a tooth. And this one is probably, this one's advanced, probably off a tooth also. So if you got this one, or this one, those are bad. And this one's a good one. So what we'll do, since you got that all lined up and figured out now, get this set up correctly. is we'll uh, take the front cover off and uh, this is uh, let me see here this is not tuner transformation where I got a lot of money so if you have a boss on the cam Get this right here. If you have a boss on a cam, you will take your big wrench, and put it on the lobes, and you will turn this till it gets on the, the head nut right here, and you can use that, then you'll just turn the crank. However, this L16 motor does not have a boss. The L16s do not come with a, a cam boss. So what I'll do is jam a uh, 
screwdriver in here and put something soft under here. I got this already kind of loosened up already, so what we'll do is we'll break the bolts, break the crank bolt, get that loose. We'll break the, the cam fuel pump centric bolt. Those are now loose. Now we time it back to uh, time it back to top dead center. We want it top dead back to top dead center due to the fact when we take the head off we want it lined up to number one because otherwise you won't be able to turn the head due to the rocker arms and valve springs giving a lot of tension. Line up the dowel back to number one here. It looks pretty much lined up and that's a We'll take that off like that. Assume this motor is in a car, you will remove all your accessories. The L16 is pretty clean, you can get all the bolts pretty easy, unlike the later L20s, which is really, really hard because you can't get your fingers up in there due to the exhaust manifold, which is very emission, full of emission gear getting in the way. Everything I'm saying will be pretty much based on a square port. I run all square ports, L16 and 18s. And I do that because that's what I had at the time and did not have L20s. Also, I pulled this vent, vent cr crankcase vent out. If you're removing a motor, I pull this out. I don't have to, I really don't have to pull this out here. You pull this out, then you can pull the exhaust manifold out and you pull the motor straight out, it's quicker I've noticed in the L16s. Going back to pulling the front cover, we'll assume this is in a car, what we'll do is remove these 10 millimeter bolts that go into the front cover. Make sure that you get these 10, 10 millimeter bolts. Some people forget them, do it now. What we really need to do is uh, remove the distributor Another way to make sure this is timed right is make sure you see this distributor in 1128 position as you're looking through the, from the, to the front, as shown there. If that's this way or this way, they, they probably rigged the distributor up by shade, cutting the timing plate to dial it in, which you know they either put the pump in wrong or they grabbed another distributor and uh, the mount where the hole goes through, uh, they got a wrong one from a junkyard or they, it was mismatched set. So Make sure you get all this correct. So what we'll do is make sure you get these top 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure you get these uh, 10 millimeter bolts out. I have these loose already. Then we'll drop the oil pump. these pretty much loose for uh, the show here. This is really, really easy. You can, if you, I can do this, you can do this. As in the wedding singer, as in the wedding singer. Billy Idol gets it, so can you. The other L series motors, they might use a timing sawtooth timing plate, it could be here or here, so use the same uh, pulley. If you mismatch it, you, you won't have no exact your time unless you pre marked it by finding top dead center yourself and marking, marking the plate by hand. Some of the racers use the single pulley ones, but this we're just doing a basic timing. Reach under here, pull out this uh, 
oil pump drive, put it in a clean spot. Get the pulley. Try to keep it back lined up to zero. It shouldn't move that much anyway. Pulley off, clean spot. What I do is I loosen all these bolts here. I don't I don't take them off so I can find the exact spot where they went. I keep them on the front cover. Make sure you get these lower nuts down here, that one, and this one here. Back them off until you feel that they're out of the threads. I also got this Chromex to help prevent the cavitation the next time around because uh, this coating is supposed to be pretty good. But they say do not use uh, alkaline soap to wash these because they'll etch somehow. So I had one bead blasted, it looked pretty good, but I'm going to try this and see how this goes when I get around to it. If you don't have to, don't take this uh, thermostat housing off. Since mine's an L16 and I just route one water line, that's the simplest and cleanest if you live in a cold weather area. Heat the intake manifold. If you freeze in the winter, it seems like it's running out of gas. Someone probably put a Japanese head without the, the water ports into the head in a manifold and it's freezing. If you're like near freezing conditions, your car will freeze ice up. If you live in Las Vegas, you're probably not going to worry about it. Also, if you think you have a bad head gasket, but it's not overheating, make sure that the lower intake bolts are tight. What happens if you do have a water line? The hole in the head, it sucks it into the intake. So this is very common sometimes when you put a motor together and you don't wrench it down hard enough. So what I do here, I get some soft and I pound the, both sides. The front cover is off. That's pretty much it on that. Then we uh, just strip down the loosen, loosen everything up. You can take the alternator mount on or off if you want. Leave it on, take it off. Notice how my slack side guide is a nice curve. I used a you push it all the way in, you'll see there's two, like a, a figure eight holes. It's kind of oblong. You push it all the way in, so you use the, the hole farthest to this side. Also on the slack side guide, there'll be a washer, a lock washer, and then the, the 10 millimeter head bolt. Don't lose these bolts. Put it, make sure you get them in the right spot. I usually put them in a Ziploc bag and ink, ink market, so I put it together. 